All right, you are welcome again. Today, let's talk about polar coordinates. Polar coordinates. Under polar coordinates, we're going to talk about equation transformation. Equation transformation. That is from Cartesian equation to polar equation. So how do Cartesian equation look like? So we say that any equation of the form y is equal to f of x. It is called Cartesian equation. You say that any equation of the form y is equal to f of x is called Cartesian equation. Let's take a look at some examples. We have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9. This is a Cartesian equation. Two, we have y is equal to minus 3. We have x squared minus y squared is equal to 4. We have x squared plus y squared plus 4x is equal to 0. We have x squared plus y squared minus 6y is equal to 0. All these are examples of Cartesian equations. All right? Good. Now, we also say that any equation of the form r is equal to f of theta. It is called a polar equation. Any form r is equal to f of theta is called polar equation. Let's see some examples. We have r is equal to 2. is a polar equation. We have r sine theta equal to 4. is a polar equation. We have r equal to 5 sec theta. We have r square sine 2 theta is equal to 8. We have r is equal to 2 all over 1 plus sine theta. We have r is equal to 6 all over 3 cos theta plus 2 sine theta. All these are examples of polar equation. All right. Now let's go properly converting Cartesian or rectangular equation to polar equation. How can we convert Cartesian equation or rectangular equation to polar equation? equation now here we're going to use some relations so we're going to say that anywhere we see x we can replace it with r cos theta then anywhere we see y we can replace it with r sine theta okay so this is the relationship we are going to use to convert okay now we say that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta now let's go we say example convert the following from cartesian equation to polar equation all right so we have a x is equal to 7 we have b x square plus y square is equal to 9 and then c we say x square plus y square plus 4 x y is equal to 0 all right let's go solution we say a x is equal to 7 so we say that anywhere we see x we can replace it what r cos theta is equal to 7 so r cos theta equal to 7 is the polar equation form for x is equal to 7 okay yes that's just all number two we have x squared plus y squared is equal to 9 so we have x squared anyway we'll see x we can replace it with what r cos theta so here we have x squared that means we're going to have r squared cos squared theta plus we have y squared we're going to replace it with r squared sine squared theta equal to 9 so here we have r squared sine square theta and r square cos square theta so since they are r square r square we can factor out r square so we'll factor out r square we're going to have cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to nine and then you discover that cos square theta plus sine square theta is equal to one okay so that means we have r square upper bracket one equal to nine so here we're going to say that r square is equal to nine so we say that r is equal to three all right so that r is equal to 3 so the polar form of the equation uh, x squared plus y squared equal to 9 is r is equal to 3 all right yes let's take another example you say x squared plus y squared plus x y is equal to 0 so let's go we say x squared is going to give us r squared cos squared theta plus y square is going to give us r square sine square theta plus we have 4 r cos theta r sine theta that is 4 x y x r cos theta 
y r sin theta equal to zero all right so here let's factor out r squared so when we factor out r squared we're going to have r squared over bracket cos squared theta plus sin squared theta then we have plus here we have r cos theta r sin theta so r times r is going to give us 4 r squared cos theta sin theta we have equal to zero okay so here now we have cos square theta plus sine square theta equal to one so one times r square is equal to r squared okay so here we have r squared plus four r squared cos theta sine theta equal to zero okay here what do we have in common we have r squared in both sides so let's factor out r squared so when we factor out r squared we're going to have 1 plus 4 cos theta sin theta equal to 0. So finally, we see that the convection of Cartesian equation to polar equation of x squared plus y squared plus 4xy equal to 0 is going to give us r square open bracket 1 plus 4 cos theta sin theta equal to 0. All right? Yes. Now, I want us to convert from polar equation to Cartesian equation and then we're also going to convert these ones that we just did now to see whether we can actually take them back to their original form okay now we're going to use some relations so the relations we are going to use is this we are to note that r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared we are to note that r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared and then you know that theta is equal to tan inverse of y all over x. Okay? Theta is equal to tan inverse of y all over x. All right? Yes. You know, from the beginning, you know that x is equal to r cos theta and then y is equal to r sine theta. All right? Yes. Now, let's go. Let's take a look at this question. We say convert the following from polar equation to Cartesian equation let's pick some of these ones we just solved okay so the ones we just solved we say number one r cos theta equal to seven okay r cos theta equal to seven number two r is equal to three then number three r square open bracket one plus four cos theta sine theta is equal to zero so let's convert this to cartesian equation let's see what we are going to have so number one we have r cos theta equal to seven and then you know that any of see r cos theta we can replace you with what x okay so here we're going to have x is equal to seven you know that x is equal to r cos theta and y is equal to r sine theta is that true yes so here we have r cos theta so we replace it with what x equal to seven so the cartesian equation for r cos theta equal to seven is x equal to seven number two we have r is equal to three and then a relation we say that r is equal to square root of x squared plus y squared okay so here we're going to say that r let's replace you with square root of x squared plus y squared we're going to have square root of x squared plus y squared is equal to three is that true yes let's remove this square root so that means we are going to take the square of both sides so if you take the square of both sides this square root is going to cancel okay so we're going to have x squared plus y squared is equal to three squared okay so three squared is equal to nine so here we have x squared plus y squared is equal to nine so this is the cartesian form of the equation r is equal to three okay now let's take the last one we have r squared open bracket one plus 4 cos theta sine theta close bracket equal to 0 so yeah you know that x is equal to r cos theta and then y is equal to r sine theta is that true yes here we have r squared plus 1 plus 4 cos theta sine theta let's use this r squared to open the bracket so when we use this r squared to open the bracket we're going to have r squared plus 4 r square cos theta sine theta close bracket equal to zero okay yes now you see that we have r square plus 4 r square and then you know that 
because theta and sine theta they don't go alone they go with what r okay so let's this r square let's distribute it to cos theta and sine theta that means we are going to have four r cos theta r sine theta equal to zero okay now we know that r is equal to square root of x square plus y square but here we are, going, we are having r squared that means we are going to have square root of x squared plus y squared all squared is that true yes now we have plus 4 r cos theta is equal to x and then r sin theta is equal to y we have equal to zero so when we open this bracket you know we have square root of x squared plus y squared all in bracket squared so this square we cancel square root that means we're going to have x squared plus y squared plus 4xy is equal to zero all right yes we have seen how to convert cartesian equation to polar equation and vice versa all right please let's take more example let's keep watching and keep practicing all right yes see you next time